Alright guys, so this is known as the Sawyer system, but we're going to show you how we assemble it and some of the different features it has, okay? Now I studied it a lot, it's used in third world countries, and it comes with a million gallon guarantee, alright, before it has to be replaced. That doesn't mean there's no maintenance, that doesn't mean you can run a million gallons through it, okay? It comes with a syringe. Now this syringe, to me, seems pretty, uh... Typical of, you know, um, basically something you might see for some type of medical, yeah, right there, uh, Turamo Medical Corporation. So it's not like it's any ma massive, uh, amazing, special syringe. It's a 60cc, no needle syringe. So I'm sure, you know, uh, you probably pick it up at uh, Tractor Supply, because that's, you know, all, all the uh, animals and all that. And all you're doing is backwashing, okay? You, this is your filter system right here. This is the actual filter filter, okay? And you're just going to be backwashing it. When it starts to get slow, you're going to go ahead and backwash it. All right, force it back through. Where it comes out, you're going to force it backwards. All right, all they have really good instructions and all. And it's designed to be put on a bucket, but they give you extra pieces, okay, which screw on the top. I'll screw one on here for you. All right, now you'll notice the flow of the water, okay, let me get where you guys can see it, all right, the flow is that direction. So this piece would be attached to the bucket, and I get to have three of those, all right? So one can be attached to a hose, one can be attached to your sink. Now you might be thinking, how the heck are you going to attach that to your sink, guy? Because they also include this. It's a little rubber suction piece that goes right up over, oh, Bummy's all excited now goes up right up over your uh, any one of the little faucets in your sink and your you know I don't think it's big enough for a bathtub you'd have to have a pretty small faucet but any sink or whatever and that leaves this hose off when you attach this to that hose okay now you have this apparatus just sitting there and the filter will screw on to that all right so you have one for your bucket you have one for your sink they also come with a set of uh, special bags all right, these are squeeze bag systems, okay? Now you're able to now take the top off the filter, okay, and screw the filter right on to the bag. And then what's even more cool is it comes with a, another cap. You pull that off, that's actually a drink bottle cap, okay? And you'll notice the flow of the water is out that way, so you would fill this up with the bad water, put on the filter and you can take it with you now and it comes with a uh, 12 ounce and a 32 ounce one of those so I thought that was pretty awesome as well okay also comes with a little hanger if you wanted to use gravity feet and they come with caps to put on just to keep them from getting any little cruddies in them there okay it also comes with the 13 16 paddle bit. They actually include the drill that you need to do this. Now, how are you going to put it on my uh, on my uh, bucket, John? Because it comes with the inside attachment, all right, as well as another hose and the external. You drill your hole. This goes in. You'll see the big compression washer there goes right on in, it's hanging out the front. Then you're going to have one of these attached to it, all right? And you're going to be able to screw on your filter, and you can have your nozzle then fill up whatever containers you want to fill up and just leave it be. Close the nozzle. It's really that simple, guys. So I'm going to actually sit here and drill the hole in the bucket. You see I've got my X marks the spot. And don't worry whether or not, like BC said, when you're thirsty, nobody really cares whether the bucket came from Lowe's or whether or not it was a, uh, a food-grade plastic bucket because I went and did a little research here now, okay? And my research turned up that the plastic used in the bucket at Lowe's are the same plastics that are used in these buckets. It's just what they do with them and how they care for them along the way. You take a Lowe's bucket and you wash it out, okay? It'll drop a bleach in there and give it a good rinse in and have a good clean cap for it. It's fine.
So all that safety sallies that are going to get on here and tell me, oh no, it's got to be food grade. Click off now. Click off now. All right. The cool thing about that drill bit, by the way, is whatever your attachment is, it goes right in the attachment. I just thought that was awesome. So we're going to literally just drill. Well, work's all done. There we have it guys. Make sure you clean out all your little edge debris so you don't wind up with any plastic burrs getting up underneath your uh, up underneath your uh, filter uh, washer there. And then we're going to take our unit. This one right here, okay? We're going to put it through the hole. And it literally is a tight fit, so I'm screwing it through the hole and screwing it down tight. And now you can see I'm taking this one, all right, I'm putting it on. And there you have it. So now, whenever I have to use the bucket, I'm going to have one of these ends, okay? I'll show you. One of these ends is going to be on my bucket, all right? So that'll be like that. That's fine now. That's all set, ready to go. I can have this for my sink. All right, and I still have an extra one right here that can go on something else. Maybe I have two buckets that I want to use, okay? I checked these pieces right here. These are standard PVC pieces. This unit right here is just this unit right here in white, okay? But I guarantee you, you can do this yourself. Probably a couple bucks you can make this little system right here and get another one for a bucket without having to order another one, okay? But I also want you to see the box, so you're familiar with what the box looks like, all right? It's the all-in-one filter by Sawyer, okay? It's uh, the one they use over in the uh, third world countries. You can They have a whole article about, uh, you know, www.sawyer.com, how to go on there. And by the way... I bought this, they didn't give it to me, so, <laughs> no, I'm not a spokesperson. They give you some explanation here, you can see right here where they're showing you how you can uh, put it on your sink, how you do your buckets, the, you can, oh, the two liter bottles, that was the other great thing, this screws on, two liter bottles, guys, just like it is, boom, right on a two liter bottle, it screws on standard uh, soda bottles, so whatever you've got, to carry water. This thing is designed to fit all of it, which is incredible. It's awesome. All right. They do have a one million gallon guarantee, but like I said, it requires maintenance. So study up on it first. Make sure you understand it before you do something like this, okay? And uh, give you a good rundown about their filter, all right? It's real simple to use. It's very, very, uh, goes down to, I'll show you here so I don't just tell you, I can show you. It goes down to a 0 0.1 micron absolute filter, which uh, makes me feel comfortable, okay? Now, it's not water purification. It's water filtration, okay? And like I said, even if you're just putting it away, all right, but you still, you're a big hiker, all right? You still have the ability to take it with you and be using it now, okay, with the bags, with the uh, bottled water and this it's it's not like that takes up a lot of room in your backpack okay it's fantastic things they get in a bug out bag what you can do with this thing right here all of that fit in this little box by the way and you can see my hand so you get an idea of the size of the box all right it didn't weigh hardly anything but uh i think you guys will enjoy it look at it check it out make sure it's for you if it is uh give it a run because i know i needed to get my water uh situation finalized i mean i maintain you know 45 50 gallons of water and i have capabilities uh with my 55 gallon drums i can store you know rainwater up to 400 gallons but it'd just be nice to be able to know that i'm not having to spend all of my and for me it was spending all of my time and my effort boiling all the water or dumping bleach in the water or any of that. Now, when you store this long term, it tells you to fill it with water, put one drop of bleach in it, let it drain out, all right, and then let it dry naturally. 
You can wrap it up in a towel and put it in there. The one thing they'll tell you is don't let it freeze. I don't know why. But what I do is is I have it in the, uh, in the prep room, and it's wrapped up in uh, a full-size towel. All right, and everything's stuffed in the bucket, so the buck's very insulated. The whole room, as you guys saw, is completely insulated. 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 I sound like you bow me. But uh, the whole room's completely insulated, so, uh, yeah, I can heat that room with the little CFL that's in it. And no, it's not LED, it's CFL, sorry. But the, anyways, I wanted to get this. I don't want to make a thousand-minute film, you know. We'll leave that up to you, bow me, in the beer review. <laughs> Alright guys, any questions, shoot me, uh, shoot me something down below, uh, and, uh, talk to you guys later. Have a good one.